won't be that hot this coming weekend. We might be working with the possibility of rainfall, though, by okay. that point here. We do have a rainfall possibility before that as well. It's not right now. You're just seeing a few clouds overhead here in the Des Moines area. Temperature is still pretty comfortable, right about 72. Same as you go up to Ames, west towards Carroll, Grinnell. You get the picture. Upper 60s to lower 70s here. So much nicer here than last week as we start off this new work week. There are a few raindrops up in northeastern Iowa and a couple down towards Kiosakwa and over towards uh, Mount Pleasant. Those are going to obviously miss us. We're clear as, as you head out farther to the west. Our next weather system for tomorrow, it's up this direction, draped from Canada down through the Dakotas. That boundary here, the dash black line, is what we call a trough of low pressure, kind of an elongated area of low pressure. But think of it just like a front. It's going to head our way as we head towards tomorrow morning. Some clouds will move in and maybe a couple of showers, but I don't think anything that's going to be majorly impactful. The rest of tonight, the clouds will just kind of hang out across eastern Iowa first, clearing to the west. Temperatures will drop down the 40s where we do get clear skies, especially outside of uh, the metro area where we'll stick a little bit warmer. The clouds from that next system start to come in before the sun comes up to the north and west first. Might even see a few raindrops before the sun comes up, up towards Algona, Humboldt, and down towards Fort Dodge, Rockwell City, and so on. The chance of rain then travels eastward from about daybreak through about lunchtime here for most of us in the middle of the state. And it's a chance, okay? This is going to be fairly light, kind of spotty in nature. The system's not really going to be very powerful. It'll be a band of cloud cover that lingers through the middle part of the day. Where that clouds, those clouds linger into the afternoon is where temperatures will probably hold down into the 60s tomorrow. But overall, from west to east, we will start to clear out back as we head towards the afternoon hours. And watch western Iowa then as we go towards that 3, 4, and 5 o'clock time frame. We're going to pop up maybe a shower too maybe even a rumble of thunder, but for the most part, that's going to be pretty spotty activity as we go through the second half of the day. Once we head towards tomorrow evening, this all winds down. We're going to be dry and clear then as we head towards tomorrow night. So rainfall amount is going to be pretty insignificant with this one, which is unfortunate if you missed out on any of that rain that came through this past weekend. Temperatures, though, are going to be really nice. We're going to have nice cool nights and pretty comfortable afternoons through most of this week. Mid 70s are pretty typical this time of year. We're going to be around or a little bit warmer than and that as we go through this upcoming week. So tonight, pretty typical as well. Low 50s for overnight lows, few clouds to the south and east. We'll see more of those clouds move in with that system tomorrow. Maybe a shower or two in the morning. Pretty light stuff. And then we'll be partly sunny with a chance of a shower in western to southwest Iowa tomorrow afternoon. Mid 70s to upper 70s with dry skies through Wednesday into Thursday. And then I mentioned there's a chance of rain as we head towards the weekend. Right now we're eyeing that tropical system down in the Caribbean. That will actually make its way up our direction and sort of bring us some moisture possibly all the way up into Iowa towards as soon as Friday, but possibly into Saturday.